Hey, Ralph here. Welcome back to the uh, Moodle Tip of the Week. This is going to be a quick tip about a particular question type that is available uh, via a uh, uh, additional plugin. It's called the uh, Ordering Question Type. And I, I like the way that it allows students to process lists or put things into context. It's a little bit uh, not quite as difficult, maybe as fill in the blank, but it um, can be more useful than uh, multiple choice in certain situations. And it just gives us another option for uh, for assessment for our students. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look. So uh, again, this will be a plugin that you'll have to uh, add to your Moodle system. It's not part of the Moodle base. It is the uh, the ordering uh, plugin. And let me just kind of show you uh, how it works. So jumping out into one of my classes here and let's go ahead and go to my question bank here. I'll go ahead and select questions and I'll just grab a uh, a category here because really what I want to do here is I want to create uh, a new question of the ordering type so I'll go ahead and select on create a new question and then I do have the plugin installed so I'll go ahead and select ordering and to give you a couple examples so I work in networking I train networking you know one of the things we do is we look at different networking models you know for example like the uh, OSI model and so the OSI model consists of seven layers. And so it's, it's important from a testing standpoint, but it's also just important from a uh, general networking standpoint that my students understand the, uh, the different layers of the OSI model. And so part of that is just knowing what the different layers are, right? So, you know, for example, I could create uh, a question and then I could just say, you know, you know, drag the OSI layers to the correct order. Now, at this point, I would probably add, I mean, normally if I was creating this question, I would add a little bit more text, make sure I let them know that I want layer seven at the top and things like that. So we, but we have the question here and then you could, again, obviously we could provide our feedback. This is going to be a, uh, a vertical list and then we just go ahead and start at the top. So the top layer would be the application layer and then we have the presentation layer um, <clears throat> below that we have the session layer and then the transport layer the network layer uh, we have the data link layer uh, and then finally we have the physical layer so I need to add three more items down here at the bottom I'm only gonna use one of them all right, I'll go ahead and save and continue editing just to kind of show you how the question will look. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and select the preview option here. And this is what you get, okay? So that you could you know, just start dragging items here. So physical data link, oops, network, transport, uh, session layer, presentation application. Okay and submit and finish and then they get all green checks if everything is the uh, in the correct option order now let's say that they you know they get the physical layer right but they don't whoops move the session up a little bit but they mistakenly have the transport layer before the network layer and then i'll say uh, submit and finish and you'll see that it'll show them which two they got wrong. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be an example of a vertical question. Again, in networking, you know, we do deal a lot with, with lists and things like that. And so it's a nice little format for, for working with that. Uh, another example, uh, you know, when we start talking about uh, creating, you know, commands, you know, at the command line interface, sometimes I'll um, use this for, you know, ACL commands or potentially for just like a basic you know, IP route command. So I'll create uh, a new question here. Again, we'll go with the ordering type. And then in this case, mm -hmm. um, I'll just say, correct the syntax. I'll assume that it's not in the correct order to, uh, to start. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a horizontal question. So the command would be IP 
route. I don't know, maybe we want to start with the, let's start here. So we'll say router and then our prompt for global config. And then we'll say IP route. Uh, the network address we'll just say is 192.168.1.0. Uh, subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0. And we'll say that our next hop is you know, 10.0.0.1. Now, on some level, <laughs> I would have to give a little bit more uh, information in the description here to say what what network we're creating a route to. But again, I just kind of want to show you the format here of the question. So I'll say save and continue editing. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and preview that. And so that'll look like this. Okay, so again, let me drag it along. Whoops. So router IP route, network ID, subnet mask, and then finally the, the next top. So it'll look like that. So again, I mean, nothing groundbreaking here, but I, I do like uh, this question format. I mean, it's always good to mix things up uh, and get the students out of rhythm, you know, in terms of just multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice, or true, false, true, false, true, false. It gives it a little bit of a different format. Um, allow students, you know, some clues as to what they need to do, but then they still have to place things into the correct context. And so it's just another option that we have here with uh, question types, but I find it to be useful and I've gotten some pretty good feedback from it. So I thought I would share that with you. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.